Hi, and welcome back. In the previous chapter, I provided you with an overview on the Fibro Aqua technical team and the way we operate. In this chapter, I will be addressing some of the principles and strategies which lead to optimization of performance in aquaculture facilities. The number one goal of, for us is obviously to maximize the immune competence of the animals in the culture facilities. We expect our animals to withstand disease. All of us are aware of the fact that our animals are in dense conditions, are stressed continuously, whether chronic stress or acute stress. We expect them to grow. We expect them to grow fast. It needs to be very clear. I say this as a veterinarian. I do not expect these animals to be free of infectious disease. Perhaps it would be nice, perhaps it would not be so nice, but we expect them to be able to withstand the presence of these stressors. That is our job as we manage health management in aquaculture facilities. The second very important task, of course, is to reduce, possibly eliminate the presence of pathogens. I say eliminate kind of with a question mark because you know we invest so much money today in sophisticated hardware and we put UV systems and ozone and so many barriers, but at the end of the day, either our workers or our, our juveniles coming in or some of the broods are coming in or just, you know, by, by vectors like birds, etc., disease will be introduced. That has been the reality. That has been my experience for over 30 years. And so the mission is not really to hold sterile SPF, so to say, culture facilities. Would be nice, perhaps, but really, it is to reduce the impact of disease, which leads me to the third aspect of our work. We want to make sure that we are optimizing growth performance of our animals. And when I talk about growth performance, the FCR, the bottom line of what we do, of what you as professionals do when you practice health management is increasing the profitability of our culture facilities. And we all know as we intensify, as aquaculture intensifies, you need to consider a much broader concept when we talk about health management. Yes, preventing disease is obviously critical, but providing the right feed formulation, making sure water quality is optimal, choosing the right genetics of the animals that we bring into our facilities. This is a long list of aspects, a long list of management procedures, which together will provide good health management of these procedures. This means in reality that we cannot limit our expertise to the aspect of disease or disease control, because when we talk about disease, we talk about environment, we talk about stress, we need to understand all these concepts, again, in order to optimize performance and make sure that our animals are well performing. So we are really talking about a multidisciplinary topic which needs to encompass our expertise, our actions on the farm really need to be very comprehensive, thinking about infrastructure, about our workers, about proficiency, feed water quality, and obviously disease management, which is critical, but only part of a more comprehensive concept. People are still treating disease, combating disease, rather than preventing disease. Anytime we choose to treat disease versus prevent disease, the outcome of this effort will not be as effective. Any financial investment which we will be putting into prevention will translate to a lot more dollars at the end of the production than treating existing disease on your farm. So prevention, prevention, prevention. And I have here a picture of one of our employees vaccinating fish. Vaccination is obviously a classic example of disease prevention, probably among the best preventive measures which we can recommend, which we can implement, and we are implementing vaccination today in several species and many parts of the world. Us, as professionals, we need to focus on preventive measures which relate to management of our facilities. And I will be touching on this aspect, going from the topics of prevention into the actual visit on the farm, what is it that we do? A practical approach, as I call it, to health management of aquatic facilities.